In today's digital landscape, the rapid spread of misinformation and disinformation online is increasingly posing a challenge for the public. In this critical juncture, the media's influence is more crucial than ever. We call disinformation any content that uh, pretends to be journalistic, but which actually uh, imparts false information uh, in the purpose of misleading the public. Uh, this is poison for the mind. This can uh, have very dire consequences. That's, this can lead the public to uh, vote for the wrong persons. This can uh, lead public anger uh, on topics on which the public would have no reason to be angry. And this truly can have a particular impact in the period of an election, of course. Taiwan is one of the democracies in the world that has the lowest rate of uh, public trust in the media, only 28%. And there's a reason for this. The Taiwanese media outlets quite massively work in a way that is not always fully respectful of journalism ethics. And uh, this is actually uh, an additional factor uh, that could allow this information to spread in Taiwan. And uh, this is a threat uh, for the Taiwanese people. The only way for Taiwan to efficiently protect itself from disinformation is to have a healthy media environment in which media outlets would pay more attention to journalism ethics that would ensure that they deserve the trust of the public. We need the media outlets to be the first protection against disinformation and not to amplify this phenomenon. To confront this issue, the Journalism Trust Initiative, JTI, implements a self-regulatory approach to reviving and strengthening public trust in media reporting. So the Journalism Trust Initiative has been uh, initiated four years ago by Reporters Without Borders. The idea here was to fight uh, misinformation at its source, not to cure the symptoms, but really to cure um, the source of the problem uh, with the process of news creation. The more um, um, media outlets are joining, the better this is for the ecosystem in itself, because then tech platforms can use this data set to reward trustworthy journalism, and also for citizens that can uh, then get a, a compass uh, to orientate themselves in the information ecosystem.